welcome friends welcome to the course of code igniter for restful api development using silt authentication so inside this first phase of api development we will create our students migration if i back to editor so inside last video we had seen all about our development plans we had installed this setup and also connected with a database now next inside our database we need a migration file it means we need a table and call students and inside that table will have all these columns so inside the students table we want id which is auto incremented primary key integer type name email phone and profile image which contains string values so let's create a migration file and set up all the attributes of all these columns so go here let's close this development server php spark if I press enter, so already we know all about the concept of make migration from basics concept of Codeigniter 4. So directly I will use this command to create students migration. So php spark make migration. Let's say create underscore students underscore table. If I press enter, it has created create students table dot php file inside migrations folder. If I go here, go to app, database, migrations and here we have our migration class. Now let's create the table structure and its skeleton inside this up method. So I will use this forge instance. So this forge and we'll call the method called add field. This forge will call add primary key. And the last method will be this forge and it will be create table inside this we need to pass our table name called students and go inside this turn method let's call drop table method as well so this forge drop table and inside this the same table name we are passing here go to add field pass an array and inside this array we need to write our column names and their properties so it will be id name email phone number and profile image so these are the columns we want inside our students table and obviously we want to make id as a primary key now next we need to set attributes of all these columns so it will be type of integer so type equals to int length is inside constant and it's a five characters five will be the length of this value of this column now next auto increment auto increment equals to true next we have unsigned unsigned equals to true so all we have done with this id column now next we want to use and write attributes for this name field so type it will contain string values so type will be var care constraint let's say name field will contain 120 characters null equals to false it means this field is required now go here inside this email field i will copy paste it here email field is also required in this case let's say 50 characters only allowed same attributes if i copy paste it here so phone number is also contain string values but this time 30 characters is okay but phone number will be optional value so it is false here if i copy go here let's pass it here for profile image this field is also going to contain string values and this time let's say 120 characters in length because this field is going to contain the path of the image so while calling our add student api we need to pass data for name email phone number and profile image so once we save any student data inside this table profile image column will contain the path of that image and here null equals to false it means let's say this field is optional phone number is optional and obviously profile image is also optional now all looking good here now go back to terminal if I type php spark migrate status so we can see that inside application we have a single migration file which yet not migrated 
Now let's go and migrate our migration file and create dynamic table inside our database. Back to PHMI admin. Right now as we can see that inside this table we have only the migrations but inside this table we don't have any entry because we didn't use any migrate command. Now go here to terminal, let's say php spark migrate, press enter. So it will execute our migration and if I again type called php spark migrate status now this time we can see that our migration class now migrated. If I go here, let's reload this database structure. Now we can see here we have our students table. If I go inside that table, go to structure. Now as you can see that this table is going to contain columns as ID, name, email, phone and profile image. ID is a primary key. Length equals to 5, auto increment and unsigned. Name field is contains string value, email is also phone number profile image means all these four columns contains string values and here are the specified length values. So this is means inside this video we had created our students table so that we can perform all about for the CRUD operations method. So from next video we'll create our routes, controller, models and do all operational methods. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.